Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This video is gonna be a little bit different than what you guys are used to from us. Uh, we left the UK, as the title says, and we want to talk to you guys all about it. Yeah, so in this video, we're literally gonna explain the whole thing. First of all, we're gonna say why we left the UK. So the reason and the process that went on in our tiny little hell just to come yeah. to this decision, because it's quite a big one for us. And also we're gonna explain the process and all everything that happened in order for us to move, because it was quite yeah. a bit of organization yeah. and like budget and everything so we're going to explain a bit of that and also last but not least we're going to explain what's going to happen next both for our life because this is a really big change and also for the channel because we have like quite something different in store from now on mm. but it's going to be exciting hey guys we're currently on our way to doha we're on the flight right now and we've been awake for officially 24 hours it's crazy last time when you guys saw us we were on a honeymoon in florence and rome and luxembourg but this is our biggest adventure yet yeah right now because we're exhausted we're gonna take a nap but then we're gonna explain to you better what's gonna happen next well first things first we wanted to touch on why we left the uk and one of the reasons for that was being tired of living to work so it seems that our lives in London, it all revolved around work all the time. So it's, it's like we didn't have the life that we wanted. We weren't enjoying ourselves as much as we we're supposed to be enjoying ourselves. At least we thought we weren't enjoying as much as we deserve. So we just thought that every day we were doing our nine to five, coming back home and then most of the money we were making was to paying bills and paying everything else and we were just kind of tired of that so we wanted to basically get out there do something a little bit different to better ourselves so guys it was officially my last day at work and i just i can't believe it like i'm so so happy and it's just it's been a long time coming. Unfortunately for Lucas, he has still a couple of months left at work before he can be free as well. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm so relieved. I feel like especially in the last year, we've been working so hard trying to save money for this adventure. And I feel like the time to leave was never going to come. And the fact that I'm leaving finally work, I feel like it's, it just feels a bit more real, like it's getting closer. And I just... I can't wait. I've been so stressed and Lucas has been so stressed as well. So it's just, oh, I'm so, so happy and just on to better things and a new adventure now. Today is a special day because today is my last day of work. I literally just finished. I came home and I took my uniform out and I just threw it out. And you can't imagine the weight of my shoulders that that is. I honestly, I'm so happy that from today, I can just chill out and do what I want to do. I've been waiting for this for so long. That's been difficult days, but hey, now I can just wake up and me and Elena, we can finally do what we wanted to do, what we've been planning to do this whole time. And you guys just wait, it's coming up. And also another reason that I think almost everybody on the planet can relate to is COVID. Because of COVID, we literally fell so trapped and i know that other countries compared to the uk they have stricter rules but still we had to go through quite a few months of lockdown and like in mm. two different years as well and we love traveling we got we love going out and experience new things and we have so many plans for the channel as well yeah. and of course because of covid a lot of those things couldn't be done or like even holidays that we planned we couldn't go to and that just like made us feel so miserable as i'm sure like a lot of people can mm. understand so that was like another huge reason why we decided to leave yeah another another thing is that the country that we decided to move into is very far from europe and the reason why we chose to go far from Europe is that, well, we love Europe. We, we both are from Europe and we absolutely love it to bits, but we live there our whole lives. Our whole lives have been revolved around, you know, the continent of Europe. And we just wanted to change the scenery. We wanted to go as far as we could, uh, kind of challenge ourselves a little bit and uh, basically embrace newer cultures. 
feel absolutely exhausted. How do you feel? did uh, six hours and uh, we have another well 14 hours to go to our final destination yeah and the last reason and this one is very important mm. is that we want to try and better both ourselves and the channel by being in a new place it's mm. kind of a new challenge for us so we can do quite a lot for ourselves and for the channel and all these new experiences they're all gonna add up to both our lives and the channel. 100%. So we had some delays with uh, our flight and uh, we got here to Qatar and our connection flight to our destination is at seven, but we thought it was at six. So we were already having a mental breakdown, you know, before it's we- It's all under control. It's all under control now. There you go, mental breakdown adverted. You know, we're still on track. All right, let's carry on the flight. Now, how did this idea come about? And for me, it's kind of funny because the country that we are right now, I've seen it advertised twice in my life. Uh, like a long time ago, even before I met Elena, I've seen it once and uh, I used to be the type of person that I used to look at things and think, oh, it would be cool to do that, but then I would never give too much of a thought to it. So I saw it once and then I saw it again, which was around 2015. And I was like, oh, it would be cool if I could go to that country. And then funny enough, once we started the channel, uh, one day I was just hanging out with my brother and my cousin and uh, Elena just texted me and she said, oh, you know that country? I think we should, uh, we should move there. And I thought, you know what? That is amazing. You know what? There's been... Two times that I thought about it and now that I'm with Elena and me and Elena, we always had this thing of if you want to do something, go for it. You should do it. Don't think about it too much. Try and prepare. But if you want to do something, instead of making excuses, you should just go for it. So the moment she told me, let's do it, I was 100% on board. So how's your experience so far? Uh, I mean, it's fine. But it's just like it's been so dramatic <laughs> between like the time of the flight that we thought it was different and going through extra security for whatever reason and I'm good with that, you know, security is good, but it's just it's a lot. Yeah, the thing is like after especially us staying awake for like twenty four hours as well and then we got into that flight which we had like just a, a glimpse of what sleep is. I think I probably slept for about probably half an hour max I think and uh, so we're absolutely exhausted and now we still have like another 14 hour flight as well and uh, with the whole time thing that was uh, a bit emotionally you know heavy on us <laughs> but hey we're here we made it to the gate you know we're just waiting for the plane now and uh, yeah we'll see you guys on the other side with the more realistic side of it because it is this is like the amazing and fairy tale yeah. part of it and it's amazing and we're so happy but like more into the realistic and into the specific of it mm. what we decided was to work for a year and a half yeah. to work both work full time and because our jobs were good not amazing of course we're not rich but they let us save quite a bit of money mm. so that that is great and we decided to save for literally a year and a half the time yeah. that we were gonna be in London up until and so the budget we kind of knew from the start what kind of budget we wanted how much money we should save and for what specific reasons for like tickets you know to get to the country and for like airbnbs and stuff like that so like insurance yeah, oh, yeah. Ins travel insurance like very important thing so we we were quite like prepared and organized we didn't mm. go into it just feel like oh we're leaving like of course the realistic part is that you need to save money yeah. unfortunately for whatever you want to do you need to save money and also we gave the time frame of a year and a half not only because of money but because of covid as well because be mm because when we actually decided to go it was still in the middle of i think like the last lockdown yeah so in my mind i was also a tiny bit scared that there were still gonna be rules and like restrictions yeah. especially like in the country we wanted to move to but thank god like all of that hopefully mm. it's over for good but that's another reason that's why and 
last but not least, like just to be like one hundred percent truthful, it was very hard. As、yeah. much as we actually save more than what we plan, so on the money side, we're very happy, and it was it wasn't easy, but it wasn't. As hard as we thought it was gonna、yeah. be, but it was more hard emotionally、oh、God, because、yeah. we were so tired of being in London and after COVID and everything that happened, we just wanted to leave, but we knew we had to wait.、Mm. So as much as we're so happy and grateful now, and we knew it was worth it, we're not gonna sugarcoat it. The time, the year and a half that we spent, like basically working all the time, because we、mm. were just working, 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 and saving money and like trying not to go out too much to、mm. save even more. It was hard. Like we had so many meltdowns, so many like crying、100%. sessions. And like I'm not even ashamed because it's just it's all worth it in the end. But just to see that we're not just、yeah. magically here. Yeah, there were plenty of times where I got my paycheck, and straight away as soon as I got my paycheck, it would be for bills and the savings for the country that we are in. And literally, I would have about. A hundred or two hundred pounds in my bank account left for the rest of the month. That's basically how it used to be. So there was a lot of crying、yeah. sessions, a lot of meltdowns. But now those bad times are gone, and we're here now. So what's next for us?、Uh, we want to do still movie reviews like we were doing, but now that we're here in this country, we want to do a bit more. Travel content, which is something we were lacking a little bit when we were in London. Like we we're saying, we were trying to save a little bit of money back then, so we couldn't travel as much as we wanted to. But now we'll be able to do that. Yeah, and they're gonna be mainly, of course, videos about this country because we're gonna be here for quite a while.、Mm. So we're gonna travel around, see different regions, different cities, and it's gonna be very exciting for us because it's a new place, it's a new challenge, a new adventures, and we're really happy to be sharing it with you. Also, what we wanna do is that while we're here, is to kind of help. And also inspire people that want to move. If people want to move to this country or any other country, that they basically take our videos as an example of you can do it. If you want to just move, you know you gotta prepare things, but also you know it's not impossible. You can do it. Yeah, and also because we know that people like them a lot, we're gonna be doing more food videos, and、oh, yes. <laughs> that's gonna be. Uh, some snack videos like we did in the past, maybe about like this country versus like a similar countries or like a very different one. So that's gonna be fun. But also food videos about the various cities and regions、mm. that we're gonna see. So like all the different kind of food that they have, the different food culture. So that's gonna be really fun. And also,、uh, in about six months' time, I would say. Uh, we are actually gonna be doing a cross country. So we're gonna start from one side of this country, and we're gonna travel all the way to the other side, all the way back around. And we either gonna do that either with a van, which will be amazing if we、yeah. can do it with a van. And if not with a van, then we're gonna do it with a car. Regardless, we're gonna do a cross country. We've planned this for the longest time, and those videos I can't wait、yeah. to do them because they're gonna be amazing. And now, without further ado, here's the big reveal. Welcome, Welcome to, to Australia. Australia.